increase of almost 6,000%, while we have significantly improved revenue collection. Take the case of Kenya Wildlife Service, whose total revenue for the year ending June, 20, June 30th, 2023, was 5.3 billion. But after implementing a digital revenue collection system, the revenue grew to 7.6 billion in the year ending June 30th this year, representing a 43% increase. This initiative alone has firmly put KWS on the path to self-sufficiency, freeing the corporation from reliance on exchequer support. I commend the teams at KWS, as well as all other government institutions that have leveraged technology and the digitization process to improve revenue collection. Under the Digital Health Act that you members passed in this house, we are determined to enhance efficiency and transparency provided by technology in the provision of healthcare services to eliminate fraud and fake claims. Tax revenue mobilization by the Kenya Revenue Authority, starting with its customs revenue system, is equally being worked on to ensure that revenue leaks are eliminated. Because corruption is a serious risk to social justice, sustainable development, and national security, and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, I am harnessing our, hard, our, our working relationship with other arms of government to encourage the judiciary and parliament to enhance integrity and efficiency by adopting digitization and automation. As I do so, I must caution that all these measures will only achieve intended results if and only if the institutions charged with combating corruption and promoting efficiency and integrity stop hiding behind the transparent screen of independence and rise up to meet the people's expectation on matters integrity. Let me say this. It cannot be the case that the, right, the director of public prosecutions keeps dropping cases because somehow they are unable to produce witnesses. It, is also, it cannot also be the case that corruption suspects rush to court to obtain anticipatory bail that shields them from, shields them from due process and enables them to compromise investigations. There is also no reason for corruption cases to drag in our courts for years when the same courts are able to determine election petitions and related disputes within six months. <laughs> Members, it is also unacceptable for the Houses of Parliament to deny the nation a much needed instrument in the war against corruption by continuing to sabotage the passage of the conflict of interest bill. <laughs> I, I implore you, I implore you, honorable members, to stop dragging your feet on this bill unless, my friends, there is a conflict of interest in the passing of the conflict of interest legislation. Similarly, the National Treasury has been dragging its feet in the implementation of an e-procurement system for the last 10 years. Today, I have directed the National Treasury to roll out the e-procurement system by the end of the first quarter of 2025 and ensure that going forward, only procurement undertaken through this system is sanctioned and paid for. Of the many difficult assignments, of the many difficult assignments I have undertaken, this fight against corruption is one I now take on with resolve going forward.
let this serve as notice to all. Independent institutions charged with this responsibility must up their game, pull up their socks, and match up to the expectations of the people of Kenya. Honorable members, I have stated in the past and now reiterate today that in the face of undisputed evidence or credible information on corruption, I will not hesitate to take decisive action. Accordingly, I now direct in furtherance of the principles enshrined in Article 10 of the Constitution on transparency and accountability and based on new information provided by investigative agencies and partner nations that the procuring agencies within the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum immediately cancel the ongoing procurement process for the JKIA expansion public-private partnership transaction. As well as Let me, let me repeat this for clarity. I have said that provided, because of the information that has been provided to us by partner nations, an agent, I have directed agencies within the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum to immediately cancel the ongoing procurement process for JKI expansion public-private partnership transaction, as well as the recently concluded Ketrago transmission in public partnership process. And and immediately commence the process of onboarding alternative partners because these are important projects. <laughs> Honorable members, the work of taking our nation forward is our collective responsibility as citizens. For this reason, we value the contribution of all whether they come in the form of support or encouragement, suggestion or proposal, criticism or protest, I believe that the most powerful component of leadership is listening and learning. Therefore, I engage with you and listen to all citizens, their elected leaders, public officers, administrators, teachers, and other professionals, learners and the youth, farmers, fisher folk, pastoralists, traders, craftsmen, artisans, nurses, doctors, community health promoters, and workers across all types of sectors in every sector.